So today I'm going to try putting a new surround on these speakers. Now I've already done one because I wanted to do one so I could concentrate on it without recording video. Recording video tends to throw you off a little bit. So anyone who's done YouTube videos will know that that's the thing. You tend to lose concentration. It seems fine. So I'm going to do the other one. So this is a Wolftail speaker, the center channel speaker. I did a video previously showing how all of my Wolftail speakers, all of them, the surrounds are all torn. Now these are actually rubber. Then these aren't fine, there's a rubber. And actually really good condition still. The only thing that's actually gone wrong is they're torn around the outside edge. I think they just made it too thin and the flexing just made them split. I think they're just badly made, badly designed, which for an expensive speaker system is quite disappointing. I've already done this one and that's basically done. I only just finished it a couple of minutes ago and the glue's still basically setting up. I think it's basically good. I'm going to do this one now and show you this one. Now because this rubber is actually in good condition and it's still really well adhered onto the cone, onto the surround, what I'm actually having to do is a bit different. It's a little bit of a bodge in a way, because I can't just get this off. Like normally when these things deteriorate, they're falling apart and you know it's foam and they're just disintegrating and they're turning into dust and stuff like that. And you can just scrape them off and clean them up, basically get rid of most of it. But because these are rubber and they're actually glued on really well, it's actually really hard to get them off. I did actually have a little go on the other one and I, I just found it's just gonna cause damage if I tried. So what I'm actually gonna do, as I did on this one, is I'm gonna cut away the actual center surround part, the actual curved part. I'm gonna cut this bit out with an exacto knife. Well, with a little scalpel thing, this thing here, it's not particularly sharp, but it does the job. I'm gonna cut that out, and then I'm gonna get the new piece, put that in place, glue it over the top. Seem to work fine for that one. So, let's get going. Why don't you start cutting this commitment, but these, these are knackered anyway. Look, I mean, see the edges all just folded up anyway. It's, it's gone. So what I'll basically I'll do is get a nice shallow angle on this and just cut around the inside. My finger's going to be in the way initially. I have to get this off well enough so it doesn't leave any dags. I can't even see what I'm doing because I'm in shadows. Right, there we go. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Here we go, it's flying nicely there. But I have to try and get it as low down as I can so I don't leave a sharp edge sticking up or anything. I was gonna try and cut that off. Yes, my arms do do 360 degrees. <laughs> and I'm probably blocking half that camera shot. Let's change hands back to this one. Right, that's the inside edge done. So the outside edge is basically just going to peel off because it's basically falling there anyway. Um, right, let's go around this one. Same deal, I can't leave any jagged bits. If I do leave jagged bits, I'll cut them off. So that's a bit done. Got some bits here I've got to clean up. I was going to go around and double check this. I think I've got a slight lip just here and it's trim that off. And then I'll come back and show you the next bit. Alright, so I've cut that, trimmed it down a bit. Got There's nothing sticking up now. It's a bit rough here, but it's actually not going to matter. There's nothing protruding. This is going to sit on here like this, but these speakers are actually angled inwards. So normally they'd be fairly flat, but these ones you see, the cones actually come in and actually designed to be sloped inwards. So trying to glue this on means you've got a gap. Now the trick to that is actually put DC power onto the speaker and cause the speaker to shift. So I've actually found about six and a half to seven volts is enough to get this cone to move enough. I had it doing seven before, I can drop it down very slightly to six and a half and that will shift this out. All right, so now basically just touching. All right, so I tap that and it's just touching the cone. So I'm not going to glue that I can have it there, and it means I can set the glue in just the right place. It's not trying to pull it back off. That might might have to go back to seven. Actually, it's sticking slightly low. And then we do the inner part first, let that dry, and then we do the outer part. But that's the key to get this alignment right. If you don't get the alignment right, you'll have trouble with it rubbing and stuff like that. You have to be really careful about that. Now I'm actually really fortunate that these surrounds I've got are a perfect fit. They are exactly right. 
it's incredible that like a perfect fit inside here so it's actually centering it all quite nicely on the first one I did I actually found the spider was very slightly off all right so with that S around on there just moving it is rubbing very slightly I found I had to shift it very slightly but once I actually put the surround on that actually aligned it so the spiders aren't quite right on these so these are high quality speakers and a spider isn't right and the spider's a bit which actually holds the bit the other end of this voice call basically right by the magnet and that's what's supposed to domain the main part of alignment and it's very slightly out high quality speakers I'm not quite so sure about it after all anyway so we shall do this now I've got this special glue, so these parts I'm, I've got from AliExpress, so I'll probably chuck links down below for these. This seems to work quite well, it's a flexible glue, it doesn't dry rock hard or anything, which means it's got a bit of give in it. Otherwise it will end up cracking, or tearing the actual foam or whatever, or well, in this case it's rubber. And it's got a little needle point on there, so it makes it really easy to apply it, and really precisely, you can put it really precise. So there's two ways of doing this. One is to apply a piece and then spread it out with a little brush or something to spread it out on both sides and then stick them together. That's probably a better way of doing it, but this has only got a quite short working time. It's only a few minutes, so you've only got a few minutes to working time with this thing before it actually goes off. Which in some ways is good, it means it sets up really quickly and don't have to mess around with it and holding it for ages. Because it doesn't give you much working time, it doesn't really give you time to sit here with a brush and spread it all out and stick it together before it goes off. <laughs> so. If you're used to doing it, maybe the brush is the best way of doing it. And this is actually the first time we've ever done speaker surround, so I sound like I know what I'm talking about. I've just watched some videos, which is what you're doing right now. <laughs> so my speakers are knackered. I needed to fix this, and as you guys know, people are watching the channel all the time, I fix anything that comes my way. And uh, why not? So yes, it can't. But these will be linked down below for AliExpress. So I've got surrounds, you can get different surrounds, you get different sizes. Um, you just have to make sure you measure your speaker up. You need the inside and outer diameter of these strips, right? So you know what the outside diameter is from like here to here and on the cone. So it knows how wide the strip has to be and that sort of stuff. You have to get those dimensions very, very close. You know, you just buy them. They're cheap and the glue is also pretty cheap. Yeah, big links down below for those. That's the first one I've ever done right there. And it went perfectly. So it can't be that hard, can it? Just slow and deliberate. Think about what you're doing. So what I did on the first speaker is I actually applied this glue to the surround itself on that inner edge. You don't do the outer edge, you do that separately. You do the inner edge first only. I applied it to that. Then I applied it to the cone. So it has two beads effectively. It gives you twice as much chance of it working successfully. Right? Doubles the chance of working well. You don't want to put too much on. You only put a little thin line on there. And you've got to try and squash it down and, and then spread it out. Otherwise you end up with oozing out over the inside of the cone and it will end up looking ugly. You don't want that. So you only put on just enough. If you need to, you can always peel it up and put some more on the back edge or along the front edge if you need to put like a bead in there or something like that, which I might have to do on this one. I've got a little bit here which looks like it could be used a bit of a bead on it. So I might just do that on this one just to get that nicely down. It's not quite down, this one. The inner edge is folding up slightly. I didn't get enough glue on that part. Minor tweak. But like I said, that's the first time we've ever done it. Anyway, so we'll do that. We'll put some glue on here, glue on here. We'll put it in place, so we'll flip it over, put it in place where it's supposed to go. I'll turn on power to the power supply which will push the cone out and then we can just dab it down and just keep doing that until it takes and it stucks on and as soon as it looks like it's adhered properly we turn the power back off the power supply because we don't want to damage the voice calls they're not meant for continuous DC, they're meant for moving AC pulsing in and out which also cools them the movement of the speaker cools by pushing air through the voice coils and through the speakers not having any cooling with a DC supply is not a good thing so you want to keep that to an absolute minimum you use the minimum voltage you can so it has the minimum current and then just try and keep everything as little as possible because you don't want to damage the speaker by trying to repair it. So you ready? I'm not sure I am. This might be a focus on doing this. Sorry about that. Right, let's tell you. Okay, that's that side. Now let's do the cone. Now I think when I did the first week I didn't actually put quite enough on there. Or didn't spread out enough or something like that, so I've got to I'm trying to put slightly more on this time, but only slightly more.
And like I said, you don't have enough working work time on this thing. So you can't take too long with it. Okay. Put this back in here before it goes off. It's got a sizing marking on it. Okay, so that's now sitting on there. Still not touching the speaker yet. Let's push that out. Let's increase that voltage very slightly because it wasn't quite pushing enough. So that's now just tap this down. Get starting to adhere. Okay. So this stuff does go off very quickly. That's not rubbing anymore, it's already centered. <laughs> Just the outside edge being in place is doing it. So that's good. So now let's push this down a bit harder. Try and flatten that glue out. Looking pretty good there, I think. Not rubbing. Normally I'd say never push the centre of a speaker. This is a plastic cone, right? So that is actually safe to push. If you've got a, a paper dome, never push the centre because you'll just push the cape in. This one's safe to push. Normally you can't do that, right? So just be mindful of that. Don't push the centre of the speaker, ever. And if you ever do find one which is pushed in and it's damaged, there's a trick to fixing it. Get a vacuum cleaner, stick it on the centre, and the vacuum will pop it back out again. Anyone who's had children will know this one. <laughs> my children wrecked my speakers. Well, I didn't wreck them, they damaged them by pushing the cones in. You know, oh, what's this bit do? It's a button, push it. And then, yeah, okay, then you'll figure out how to get them back out again. But a vacuum cleaner just pop them straight back out. It's like, easy. Okay, that's in there pretty well now. I don't want to take the power off yet, because I want it to definitely set up properly. I'm basically just flattening out the glue. And the reason I keep doing this one because I'm seeing some little ripples in this side, so that's what I'm trying to concentrate on that bit. Just trying to flatten the glue out so it's not lumpy or anything like that. So I'm using my fingernail as well because it's a bit more effective like that. Still centered, haven't messed that up. I'll let this cure for a few minutes and I'll come back and do the outside. So now it's time to do the outer surround. Now this is the critical part. Now on this particular speaker, well as I found on this one at least, it was actually really easy. This one just lined up, it worked. On your speakers, you may have to fiddle around with it a little bit in order to get the alignment. You have to make sure that it does not rub. So usually what you would do is you'd basically put a couple of bits of glue, like in a quadrant, you'd seat it down, get it positioned, and try moving it a little bit, right? That glue should hold it kind of. It still have a little bit of movement in it. As long as you check straight away. You can move this around, and if you need to tweak it, if it's rubbing, if you push here and it rubs, then you need to move it that way. You know, you have to sort of go around and find out where it rubs, right? By pushing. And where, whichever side it rubs worse on, that's the opposite direction to where you need to move. So if it rubs worse, say, just there, you'd move it that way, for example. You'd just shift it slightly like that with the glue, just give it a bit of a pull, let the glue slide slightly, and try it again. Right, you know, obviously reseat it down again, and try it again. So my speakers here have been quite lucky. They just seem to be aligning naturally. They're quite good. The actual surround is such a good fit, it just it's working nicely. So I'm really happy about that part. Because these are sunk in, it's actually pulling the surround down on the edges because of the height difference in these. I've actually got to say, use the power supply there, drive voltage out to create a gap. Don't do this for too long, like I said before. If you have to do this kind of thing, do DC power supply to push the speaker out, minimize the time as much as possible. Because we're only gluing the outside, we can actually do this quite quickly. And because it's the outside edge, we can actually put more glue on without worrying about it. As long as you put it inside, it squeezes the inside edge. If it comes at the outside edge here, that's easy to clean off. That's not a big deal. It'll just disappear. All right, so we do put a bit too much on. It's not too bad. But like I said, if you do it on the inside edge, on the cone, usually that will show up and it'll be quite hard to deal with. 
So I'm going to use about 7.2 volts now because I'm going to push this out, which should create a bit of a gap for me to get into to get the glue in. I've also got a screwdriver here, which I'm going to use to lift the surround up. So as I go around, I'm going to put the glue in there, hopefully see what I'm doing, and go from there. Let's turn the power on. So it's created a very small gap there. I probably could do some more, but it's doing 100 milliamps right now between both speakers. So I'm going to put this on. I'm going to start here and just stick on to the near glue. Now I can't see what I'm doing, and you probably can't see what I'm doing now either. Okay, there's that. Now I had a bit too much glue over here, and a little bit just here, so I might have to do a touch clean up just there. All right, so let's make sure that's. Okay, now I'm going to wind the power down so it's gradually seats down. And I can check the alignment. And just pat it down a little bit. Okay. We're in about the right place. Let's turn the power off. Check the alignment. Seems good. No rubbing. Let's just tap it down. Now again, because this is a sloped one, it's not quite the same as the others. So I've got a bit of glue just here to get rid of that. A little bit just there. Let's get rid of that. It will just disappear eventually. Okay. Keep pinning it down. Because it's got this slope front, so now the speaker's actually helping hold it down and get it in the right place. Still no rubbing. So now let's just push down a bit more firmly because we've got to flatten that glue out. I'm not pushing straight down because it's sloping, so it'll put you push it inwards. So I'm just kind of pushing it in an angle so it's trying to bed to the outside edge as well because this does fit beautifully as well like I said and still no rubbing we're looking good there so that should be good now let's leave this to dry so there you go that's the speakers with new surrounds on I mean they look really good I'm happy with that these normally have a cover this is the cover normally goes over there excuse the cat here from having animals isn't it so that goes over there normally and you wouldn't even see them normally Talking about the cat, there she is now. It's a bit senile. So yeah, that actually looks really good. There's no signs of anything on the wall there, so you wouldn't think they've ever been done. I'm happy with that, they come out really nice. Very easy to do. So this is the first time I've even done it myself, and I can show you guys how to do it, because it was just that easy. So check out links down below if you need to put new surrounds on your speakers. So there's AliExpress links down there to get the parts. Um, you may need to search to get exactly the right ones for your speakers. This glue will be down there. This stuff worked really well. That's brilliant stuff for this, perfect for this job. Other videos down below if you're interested in other stuff to fix. Subscribe link over there if you're not subscribed yet. Patreon support link over there if you want to help support the channel. Help to buy things like speaker surround repair kits. Bye.